After all, the Sports IQ Quizzing Showdown is about winning, so we have two previous winners returning to the show today to do battle against one another and try to maintain that winning record. So, who will prevail in this hockey showdown? Let's get right into it. Welcome back, everybody, to the Sports IQ Showdown. We have two previous winners here on the show, two people with winning records and looking to keep it that way, going against each other. Two of the Edgework members over here, part of the Hammer Betting Network. Zach, the host on Edgework and a frequent guest, Alex B. Smith, joining. Let's go over to Zach first of all. It's been a little bit longer since you were last on the show, but uh, how are you feeling today? Do you feel more prepared than maybe early on in the days of Sports IQ Showdown? Yeah, I've been ripping trivia quizzes, getting ready for this one. I was just waiting to get the tap. The last one that we did was the more general sports. So uh, it, it hurt a little bit, but back into the hockey realm. Although uh, today here against Alex, going up against someone who's going to have very strong hockey knowledge, it's going to be it's going to be a tough test. That, that's a good point. You have been very good in the hockey specific quizzes. So this should be an interesting one to watch. As Alex is also a winner here. He is technically uh, 1,000 the win percentage. He's 1-0, and oh, looking to keep it in the 1,000s here. Alex, how are you feeling ahead of this one, taking on the host on Edgework? Yeah, like I said, you know, we got a, a tough win in, in the first game against So Money, now going up against another formidable opponent in Zach. Uh, great hockey knowledge as well, so it should be fun. It should be interesting. For the first time, going to pull up the previous records from the show here, and as you see, Alex is tied in the first spot because he is 1-0. and oh. Zach in that second spot, along with myself, Tied for third, actually, with a 2-1 and one record. And just because I know he's going to be watching, just remind everybody, Jason Cooper down there at the bottom. 0-2 oh on the official episodes. And uh, maybe he'll be looking for one day to return. But nonetheless, we have a very difficult quiz for our quizzes today. Let's get into round one. So for our first quiz, it is going to be all timeless for all three quizzes, if necessary. It's a best of three series. And I want to remind people watching that just because somebody could be first on this doesn't mean that they actually feature on the quiz it's the random assortment of 25 players for the number one ranked answer you do get 25 points for the number 25 ranked answer you get one point and then in increments of one in between so just by luck of the draw as it always is it's actually going to be alex who leads off of this one four guesses each in a snake draft format for which u.s born player has the most nhl regular seasons re regular season goals of all time through the 22-23 season. Alex, you've had a sec to look over. Are you prepared to yep. make the first pick here in the quiz? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Let's go with Keith Kachuk. Going to Keith Kachuk for this first pick and a solid pick. Might be a difficult quiz. So 24 points, something I think you'll be happy with, but Zach has an opportunity here to find number one potentially and he has two picks to do it. Uh, Let's go uh, Joe Pavelski. Going to Joe Pavelski with Zach's pick and third on the list. So solid offering there as well. And another chance here to find that number one slot. Go, uh, I don't know if he's, I don't know if he's one. Uh, go Mike Medano. I think he should Mike be Mike Medano, long career. And Mike Medano has a breakaway. Mike Medano can set the record and he scores. He is the greatest American born scorer of all time. Successful career and there it is. Yeah. The number yeah. one slot, so solid picks there, but uh, still nothing that Alex can't make up here. Two picks in a row for you. Let's go with Kevin Stevens. Kevin Stevens. I've never heard of him, but uh, he is eight on the list, 18 points there for Alex. So going to need a big one here to keep the pace. A couple of glaring ones out there, but let's go TJ Oshie. TJ Oshie. TJ Sochi, and he is 13th on the list. So a little bit of blemish there. Zach has an opportunity now to pretty much lock this one in. Yeah. Zach, who are gonna be your final two selections in round one? Uh, okay, let's go um, Phil Kessel. Phil the Thrill, I like it. Let's see where he ends up. Number five on the list, a big pick there, 21 points. And this might be the one that can lock it up. Already up by 14 with one pick remaining. Zach, who is your final selection? You know what? <laughs> Let's go uh, Go, Bill Garrett. Bill Garrett. I, I swear he came up in a previous quiz. Uh, I feel randomly, like he did but too. I, I feel like he had a big part to play in a previous quiz. Maybe he has a big part to play today. And he is fourth on the list. Massive selections there by Zach. He got the best four available. And unfortunately for Alex, uh, no chance of winning this quiz. But who would have been your final selection just so we can see the full list of players? 
Based on who's left, Austin Matthews. Austin Matthews. Me and Zach will love that one. And he's 11th on the mm-hmm. list. So, yeah. Zach is the round one winner. Let's have a look here to see where the other players fall on the list. But now, we're going to go into round two, where it is a do or die for Alex. For our second quiz, it will be Zach that has the opportunity to lead off in another all-time list. We had one U.S. base list and one here Canadian base list, except this is on Canadian base teams. Which player had the most regular season NHL points while playing for a Canadian base team through 2022-2023? So all-time list, but had to have played for a Canadian team while getting their points. So this is going to make our creators think a little bit more here and Zach with the first opportunity here as he has the first pick. Let's go with, um, let's go with Leon Dreisaitl. Okay. So a shorter career, but racking up a ton of points, of course. And Dreisaitl is fifth on the list. And it's going to be a difficult quiz. So we'll see if yeah. that turns out to be a good guess or not. Alex, now you have two opportunities here with two straight right. picks. Number one would be Guy Lafleur. To Guy Lafleur. Got to feel like he's pretty high, and he is yeah. number one on the list. Big gap between him and Dreisel there. Which, and interesting point of, to make about the rule of this uh, quiz, particularly because he also played with uh, Quebec as well as Montreal, so that would count as adding into his Canadian points. There but uh, second, second person will go uh, with a Canadian team. So get rid of. Okay. Let's go, Daryl Sittler. Daryl Sittler, where does he end up here? He's number three on the list. So two great selections that they're going to put the pressure on for Zach. Two straight selections for you, Zach, and you may need to find number two here. Yeah, man, I may be way off base with this one, but I'm thinking Ryan Smith. Ryan Smith. Okay, we'll see if this one pays off. Was he in Canada? And no. Doesn't quite. He ends up eighth on the list. But, uh, Zach, another opportunity here. Two picks left yeah. each. Alex leads by nine points. Yeah. Uh, let's go with... Um, let's go with Glenn Anderson. Okay. Glenn Anderson. He is second. So you get the big pick that you needed to keep the pressure on here. Alex, your final two selections are here. Let's go Trevor Linden. Trevor Linden, first of all, and he is fourth. Big pick yeah. there to give yourself the advantage once again. Your final pick is coming up here. Chance to end it and give Zach no chance to win. All right. Well, hmm. Let's go Phil Housley. Phil Housley to wrap up the second round. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. That should be enough yeah. to give Alex, yes, that will be enough to give Alex the round to victory. But Zach, your final selection, just so we can see the full list here. Let's see, uh, give me <laughs> give me Doug Waite. Okay, Doug Waite for the final pick. He is 10th on the list. So not the most dramatic of finishes for either of our first two quizzes here. That will wrap up round number two. Let's get into the sudden death Round number three to see which of these two creators maintains a winning record on the Sports IQ Showdown. And for round number three, I always make sure I have the third quiz as the hardest of the three because I really want to get the creators to think and I can see the reactions already. But it is, who scored the fewest goals amongst players that have played at least 1,000 career NHL games? So... A lot of thinking to do for this one. All of these players have played 1,000 games. Can you tell me which have scored the least amount of those? And we're going to Alex. You're nodding your head. You have the yeah. first pick. You feel confident with this one? Yeah. Let's go with Donald Brashear. Donald Brashear. I like. You know what? I like that. I, I he can't have too many. He's actually third. Oh, okay. On the list. Okay. <laughs> Donald Brashear ends up number three. So, opportunity Zach. For, he can even find the one-two punch here. Yep. Go with Craig Berube. Craig Berube for Zach's first pick, and he's number two yep. on the list. Great find there. 
And number one still lurks on the board. Zach, you're up again. Ah, oh, man, I think I'm like... Rob Ramage? Rob Ramage. And he ends up 12 uh, on the list. So big chance here. Alex has two yeah. picks for this. Yeah, you're two picks. Yeah. All right, let's go. Ian LaPerriere. Ian LaPerriere ends up ninth Ooh. on the list. Really? Still in a good spot here. Another pick coming up. Sylvain Cote. Mm. Sylvain Cote. And he is 10th wow. on the list. I will say uh, there is a very minimal gap in between all these players. Yeah. Uh, just the amount of goals, like even there, just a one goal difference. So there's opportunity knocks. I feel like this is the most difficult quiz, as I said. So any big pull is massive here. Zach, your final two selections of Sports IQ Showdown, number nine. Okay, let's go with um, Alex Edler. Alex okay, Edler. I'm trying to get inside of Alex's picks here. <laughs> Alex Edler ends up seventh on the list. So a good pick, a solid pick with one pick remaining each. Zach leads by one single point. So Zach, if you find the first player on the rankings, it will yeah. be done. Anything else and Alex has an opportunity to win with his final selection. The pressure is mounting. All right, show me Doug Wilson. Doug Wilson for Zach's final pick. Is it the number one rank? It is not the number one rank. Hello, darkness, my old friend. It is the 22nd rank for Zach, which means we oh. only need a measly, I think, 20th or better for Alex to take this one. Actually, I think it should be 19th or better for Alex to take this one in sports like you showed. Who is your final selection? Who is Jay Bomeister? Jay Bomeister to wrap this one up. And yes, number four, just to drive it home, 22 points. Zach has let himself down as Alex is the now is now two and zero oh and has the best record of all sports like you should have participants. Let's get to our final screen to wrap it up. Okay, Alex, you are now two and zero oh on the sports IQ showdown. You are you have the sole position up at the top. How are you feeling after your second consecutive victory here? Good. That was tough. I mean, that was uh, uh you know you you called these. This is one of the toughest quizzes so far, and, and certainly was. But uh, you know we just had to kind of you know dig in deep and and you know tap into the hockey knowledge and, and find a way to win. So you know it's luck of the draw too as well. And Zach of course knows his stuff, so it was a good back and forth battle for sure. And Zach, that uh, that Doug Wilson pick, where, where did that one come from? I just severely overthought it and started like listing out other guys and then just started thinking like maybe they had a little bit more. One of the things, Jacob, we noticed too is like on some of them, you see the results, so you start trying to slot in some of the numbers and I just yeah. under, I, I guess I underestimated how many goals he could have had. Yeah, that was just uh, I, I fumbled you, the bag uh, there. There's... You talked yourself out of a player. Do you, do you remember who you talked yourself out of? I'm curious to see where he ended up. Yeah, it was Jay Bomister. Oh, it's Jay <laughs> 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 who ended there? Yeah, and uh, it would have the only person who could have beaten Jay Bomister actually was Mark Stahl, who was first on the list with really wow. Goals. Yes, awesome. that was surprising. <laughs> I don't think anybody would have taken him there, but uh, sometimes you got to go with your gut or else you can end up like this on the Sports IQ shutout. Zach falls to 500, which gives me the sole third place on the list now. But make sure, viewers, you tune in next week for some more amazing quiz showdowns here on the Hammer Betting Network presented by the Bedford Sportsbook and hosted as always by DraftParty.net. Drop a like if you enjoyed and subscribe for more content just like this.